Hello everybody, my name is Artur Czewik and this is the first part of the tutorial about Tickle's Quick Developing Environment. Today I will talk about the basics uh, on this, of this uh, environment, of this tool, how to create code, how code are structured or organized in this tool. The main window to, to navigate or you change uh, or to code is component browser. In the upper area you will see four list views and this list view correspond one to one to the structure of programs. Uh, so you can see if I click of component editor I will can see that there are four classes in it if click of the class I can see what methods are defined of this class. I, I can also switch between instance methods and class methods. So it's one class methods and 56 instance methods. This thing categories is it is not for tickle, it has no runtime importance but it is uh, the way to 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 s category to structure the methods in groups. For example, if I I can attach every methods um, category, so I can easier look for methods, for example, that are responsible for initialization. Another thing that I can do it is um, look how what procedures are defined for the component and now I can see regular uh, tickle procedure. Components are just a container for classes and procedures. Okay, let's create some code. First you need a new component, a container for your code my first, first component. In this dialog you can also choose how, what type of object-oriented extension you will use. And now there are two supported object-oriented systems or extension. One is Exotical and the second one is Tickle. The general handling of it is the same, only we have this new uh, only the syntax uh, is a little different. Um, but now I, I want, do not want to uh, explain how to program Tickle or how to uh, program Exotickle or Tickle or all, only how to use this tool. So you need to look at the another sources to get how to what how to indeed write program in Exotickle. But now I c will create a component and now I can select it. This component has no classes uh, but I can create one class. So I create a class with name my first class. And this area is for defining superclass and parameters, but it is also something special for Exotical. I create it, now I have class and I can also create a method. New method template, I can, I use the context menu of method list view and can create method foo, for example, with no parameters and this return hello and I can create second methods bar and this method should call foo. So I have two uh, methods and you can see you don't edit some some file but you, you see your structure, you see that you have component, class, methods and everything you do it's doing by GUI. So you can delete methods, add methods, uh, you can add classes 
and uh, you don't edit files. It's something different. What is also important is how to create regular tickle procedure. It is, it is not so stage forward as creating classes in this tool because this tool is built primarily for object oriented programs but you can create procedures uh, also in it first you need to switch to procedure then in class menu create procedure group And in this procedure group, you can need to name for it my ports, for example. And now you can create your procedure. For example, it is regular syntax of tickle. My foo. It takes one parameter, and I, for example, return this parameter twice. We have created a class and also one procedure and now it is time to use our code. And for it we use the second window that will be opened with the application, this transcript window. Transcript window is something like console and editor area. If you, it is used to evaluate, can be used to evaluate tickle code. For example, if I write some tickle code, I can select it with a pointer, context menu, print it. It will be evaluate the expression and return selected the, the result of it. If I can do also only print do it, it will be done, but the result will be discarded. And we can use our defined procedure my foo my foo free print it six so in the time that I defined the procedure I can already use it because I I have no some something like edit compile loops if I define uh, uh, something I can already use it okay now uh, we can also use our class so let's create instance of this class the name was my first class there is also some code completion working now. New. We evaluate it. This is evaluated in global context. So now we have defined a variable instance. This variable hold reference or hold the name of this instance and we can call some method on it for example our full methods select print it and indeed we call now the method foo on our instance that is mem uh, belongs to the class my first class and what we can do is for example change this method We have redefined the methods, and if we call this, inst our instance is still alive, still living, but now it is changed. So it is the huge advantage for such uh, development environments, and also for uh, squeak-like uh, or small talk-like uh, environments that you.
are programming on living system. You can create classes, you can add methods, you can create instance of it, and every time you change something, the system is also changing. In this tutorial, I show have how to create code, how to browse the code, and how to use this code. In the next tutorial, part two, I will also talk about um, debugging and also ob about ob object inspector. How works dynamically with um, object in instances and how use the power of this env environment.